community. Angel heard that. <laughs> uh, that's it. All right. You coming this way? Is that what you're doing? Oh, she got an itch. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy. So, Kevin and I were just sitting here watching Colbert and all that stuff, and we were sitting here talking. I got to get a hold of my urologist and my gastro doctor, like ASAP, because... I don't know if I'm going to have insurance soon. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's even hard to afford my co-payments and stuff like that because I have to meet my deductibles. Um, that's why I don't really like going to the doctors very often. So, But with all this diarrhea, kidney pain, and nausea... I gotta figure out what the heck's going on. And if I need to have more surgeries, I need to get that taken care of before and before the insurance changes, if it changes. So, scary. <laughs> it's very exciting to have my picture picked as one of her top picks. I know, that was really cool. Yeah. So, so. all right, well today, same old thing with me. Laying down lines of flooring until it gets too hot to put them down. So well, it's supposed to be cooler today. I hope so. Baby, this a baby. She didn't get in the camera, so she was going to go pout. Mm hmm. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I what, love you. What did she say to you? I love you. So I'm up to my next cut around the, the uh, door jam, and I didn't plan this that well because I have this piece here that's real close to it. Now, what I did on the other side is I came right up to it, and then just did a piece on the other side. But if I did that on this side. This would be only about an inch away, and that would not look good. So I'm going to have to do it the other way around. I'm going to have to have this go all the way to here somehow. And that means either cutting, cutting a big piece is not going to work, because I want to have uh, a groove or a tongue on, on the side. So I'm going to try and figure out one of these smaller pieces to go here see how close I can get to getting that cut right. Alright, so I think I found the perfect combination of the two. So I'll glue this in. Actually, I'll wait to glue that in. I will cut this, mark this, and cut this, and continue on. Dry fit, and I'm pretty happy with it. Honey, 
What? Will you put Titanic in for us while we color? Kirsty's here, by the way, guys. Hey, Kirsty. She's cleaning yeah. her table so she can color. So you want to uh, keep me out of the roof's room for what? Three hours? That movie's three hours long. Well, yes. you're working, so this way you don't have to stop working to come watch movies. Oh. Uh, you know how much I hate that. Yeah. And then, then we'll put in mirrors, and then you can stop working and come watch mirrors with All us. All right. You're already putting Angel to sleep. <laughs> you realize that's just Romeo and Juliet on a boat. <laughs> that's okay. It is. It is okay. <laughs> it's we a good movie. like it. And we want to watch it. Should I show them my goth girl for sure. oh, right now? She's not done yet, guys, but check her out. It's looking amazing. Very cool. Got some skull skulls to deal with now. Yep. Still working on that, huh? Yes. I was using the woodless pencils for the first time and just giving them a re really good test, you know? So, and this is all just done in woodless pencils. So. And, and since you don't have any. Call me. Really? Yep. Really? Yep. Well, hello there. All right. And Kirsty doesn't have any woodless pencils, so she wanted to try mine. And so she's using my pencils, which I have two different brands. One is, I don't know how to say it, K-Nor or something like that. That's what it looks like. Something like that. And the other one is Ashley Nicole. And that's the set that I really, really, really like. And um, they're basically just all pencil with some sort of like coating over it but it's wood it's woodless there's no wood so when you sharpen it you're just getting all you know okay. yes they're oh. the and they're watching Pigment, so <laughs> they're watching a shipwreck <laughs> so but that's why she likes the woodless pencils and i highly recommend them as well so thank you and yes we're watching titanic he bit me in the nose <laughs> Did you buy her? He did. Right in the nose. That means he loves you. <laughs> I guess. I finally earned your love. It's about time. <laughs> Cut her up with this stinky butt. I've gotten about a quarter of the room done. So, it takes a long time. I did a good job of going into the closet, but I uh, got a little far away from the wall here. I hope that doesn't continue. But uh, I am tired to 84. So, Kirsty was telling us about a paranormal experience she had. Was it today? No, it was last night, actually. Last night? Yeah, typically I go to the ranch, like, at night. And, you know, it's, it's pretty dark. And, you know, the lights don't always go where I typically would go. But I was lunging my horse. And, you know, usually when I lunge him, I have to walk him afterwards. So, and there's a track that goes around the ranch. Well, I decided to walk the track in the dark. And, I mean, I've done this every night for, like, several months. And so, it's like, this is the first time ever that I've ever actually seen anything and the odd part is is I saw like this huge mess on my left side on the other side of the chain link fence and it was moving swiftly through you know pretty tall thick brush and I didn't think about it until I got up towards the area where you groom your horse but there was no sound that came with that and you never saw the body of this horse so you could just see the head and the neck 
and it just kind of moving swiftly, like, you know, like they do when you're walking mm -hmm. by with your horse and they get, like, excited, you know, because, oh, somebody's walking by with another horse and it's like, oh, you know, come visit. But I was like, oh, my God. And my horse reacted to it, and then I started to be like, you know, I think we should go back the other way, back towards the light. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. It was really strange. So after I went ahead and groomed my horse and got him put in his stall, I was so curious that I decided that, hey, I'm going to go back and check just to make sure that, you know, if it is an animal or a horse, whatever, loose, that it's okay, that it's safe. And so I, w I decided to walk back there by myself with my LED flashlight and look for whatever this was, and there was nothing there. Wow. So, I kind of feel like that's odd. So. I can't wait till I'm feeling good enough to go to the ranch with her and check things out. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> well, guys, we had another great day of coloring and watching movies. Kirstie and I watched Titanic. I'm going to ask her to leave it here so I can watch it again. So, well, I'm not coloring. Yeah, you can go to sleep. Okay. And I finished my goth girl. Cool. I think she turned out pretty cool. Kirsty finished her picture. Finally finished it. Yep. How many weeks did that take? <laughs> hey, it took me like three days. <laughs> but no, but I don't have woodless two days. pencils. Yes, those are, that's uh -huh. all colored uh -huh. with yeah. my woodless pencils. Yes, and she sure. doesn't have her set yet. Yeah, I'm but she did the order way. them, and they will be here on Friday. Yes. All right. Friday. So, and um, and I started another picture. Uh huh pretty cool. And we are watching Shutter Island right now. Yep. But we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Share our video with your family and friends. Leave us a comment and please subscribe. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.